Hi guys, I hope that you're really well. Um, I always forget to say this at the beginning, so can I please draw your attention to the fact that the podcasts are on sale, the information is underneath. Can I draw your attention to the fact that there is a coffee link underneath for those of you that find this useful. Uh, I will shortly be doing a video about a new beginner's class which is starting in uh, the new year. Uh, if you're listening to this video it is unlikely that you are a beginner but if you know anybody or you'd like to treat somebody as a new year's resolution to that um, then tell them to keep their eyes peeled for the post that will be going up soon about that i've just had a couple of people who've watched the group classes and who thought that they'd like to do that sorry it's a rather noisy bus so what have I got to talk to you about? Let's try and do one of the mixed level ones again so that everybody gets something. I'm going to talk to you about, let me think, MacBook. Uh, I don't know why I'm telling you because by the time I've done this video, you won't be able to remind me. So MacBook, let's say venison, let's say, um, what else have I got to talk about? MacBook, venison, welcoming, and um, presents. Let's talk presents. Good, so let's first talk about MacBook. So my Russian friend Chris has a MacBook and I don't tend to use them myself. Mon ami russe Chris, il a un MacBook Pro. Moi j'ai pas tendance à les utiliser. Moi j'ai pas tendance à les utiliser. Uh, I went to his house to help him fill out a form. Je suis allé chez lui pour l'aider à remplir un formulaire. Because he would like to work in Canada. Parce qu'il aimerait bien travailler au Canada. Next bit of the, sun, next bit of the uh, story a little bit faster. Um, uh, he, he's, he's, he ma he's mastered many th things in life. He has many skills, but he's shit when it comes to administration. Alors, il a maîtrisé beaucoup de choses dans cette vie. Il a beaucoup de capacités, mais il est nul quand il s'agit de l'administration. Anyway, when I got there, he was uh, in the middle of panicking because a friend of ours had uh, repaired his computer. Quand je suis arrivé là, il était en train de paniquer. Il était en train de paniquer parce qu'un de nos amis avait réparé son ordinateur. Well, his MacBook. He couldn't find anything. Il ne pouvait rien trouver. Il ne pouvait rien trouver. You know the feeling when you think you've lost all your uh, photographs and all your documents. Vous connaissez bien le sentiment, uh, or la sensation, because it's physical, it's the, the fear sometimes. Quand vous avez perdu, quand vous pensez que vous avez perdu, vous pensez avoir perdu uh, toutes vos photos et tous vos documents. Um, uh, I'm actually quite capable in the middle of a crisis. Um, uh, when you have a dad who's a cop, you're pretty good at that kind of thing. Alors moi, je suis en fait assez capable en pleine crise, parce que mon père était flic. So I rubbed his back and I said, come on, chill, relax, I'm sure we can find it. Okay? Donc je lui ai caressé le dos, j'ai dit, zen, détends-toi, on va le trouver. I said, I trust our friend Artyom, who's the one who repaired it. J'ai dit, je fais confiance à notre ami Artyom, c'est celui qui l'a réparé. Call him. Appelle-le. So guess what? He called Artyom. Artyom said, yeah, you just need to go into a guest profile. I just uh, re restored factory settings uh, on your profile, but any of the profile, your device hasn't been changed or your shit is there. Donc il a dit oui, alors effectivement, il faut juste s'inscrire avec euh, voilà, un profil d'invité parce qu'effectivement, le mise à jour des paramètres 
que j'ai mises en place ne sont, sont pas sur le MacBook en général et c'est celui qui m'en suit le profil. So the situation was fine. Alors la situation s'est bien résolue. But I still, I thought, he just looks so traumatized. And normally he's such a calm person. Alors il avait l'air bien traumatisé et d'habitude c'est une personne très calme. So I went to the Tesco nearby and I got a few ingredients. Donc je suis allé au supermarché juste à côté et j'ai acheté quelques ingrédients. Weirdly, during the week, we'd kind of received this box of really good food. Bizarrement, pendant la semaine, on avait reçu une boîte de d'alimentation de, de, de nourriture. Somebody had left it, or somebody was in the process of leaving it, um, by Harley Street, quite a nice area of London, because they were going away for the weekend and they'd left they'd left a. They were, they were like literally popping this box in the street saying, do you want this? We're going away. Donc, quelqu'un avait laissé la boîte dans un quartier assez huppé parce qu'il partait en vacances. Il partait pour un séjour, enfin, il partait pour le week-end. So, a little bit like Hello Fresh, but a little bit more. Well, let me tell you, the ingredients were really nice. Laissez-moi vous, laissez vous dire que les ingrédients étaient bien. Enfin, étaient beaucoup plus, plus chers, quoi. So, we had some venison. Donc, on, il nous restait du chevreuil. So, Sorry, vegans, but we've, we've eaten everything else. And I'm thinking, mm, how am I going to cook this venison? Because for me, venison's quite a, it can be quite a tough, <coughs> muscly meat. Um, donc, effectivement, le chevreuil, ça peut être une viande un peu dure. But I saw that it was minced venison. Donc, je me suis rendu compte, en fait, que c'était du chevreuil haché, quoi. Haché, like du steak haché. So, I got the oat cakes that I normally survive on as a bored celiac. <laughs> Donc j'ai pris les galettes d'avoine, voilà, que je, je grignote comme une celiac, and I crushed them in a bag to make crumbs. Je les ai écrasés dans un sac pour en faire des, des miettes, pour en faire des miettes. I made like a, there was like a strange mix of the crumbs and some fat and some uh, herbs and um, a bit of egg, yolk and the meat. Donc j'ai fait un drôle de mélange de de la viande, d'un euh, jaune d'œuf, d'un des miettes, quelques épices, de la graisse. And I made really delicious meatballs. Et j'en ai fait des boulettes de viande bien délicieuses. J'en ai fait des boulettes de viande bien délicieuses. And all the taste and the flavor and the fat from the meat goes into the biscuit part and is then cooked to be crunchy. Donc toute la graisse et la saveur de la viande va dans la partie biscuit et c'est bien croustillante. It's really nice. Chris is not one for compliments. <laughs> Il n'est pas connu pour ses compliments. And he was like, Luke, this is really, really nice. Good. Final thing. Tonight I did the lovely Phil's class and there's a new guy. Alors ce soir j'ai fait le cours de mon ami Phil et il y avait un nouveau. And I could tell he was a little bit anxious. Alors ça se voyait qu'il était un peu anxieux. And I was like, hi, I'm Luke, you okay, you welcome, whatever, whatever, all of this business. J'ai dit bonsoir, alors moi je m'appelle Luc, t'es le bienvenu, sois tranquille. Anyway, the guy did really well. He managed to follow all the exercises. Le mec, il s'en est bien sorti. Il a réussi à faire euh, tous les exercices. And yeah, and at the end, he came up to me and he said, thank you for making me feel really welcome. I really appreciate it. À la fin, il s'est approché de moi. Il s'est approché de moi, reflexive verb, with a de, um, et il m'a remercié parce que voilà, je lui ai fait le bienvenu. Okay, I made him welcome. Je l'ai accueilli. And that was nice. That was nice. Because I was like, that was the goal. I want everybody to feel welcome. Je veux que tout le monde enfin, soit à l'aise. Which might be shocking to those of you who have done my class, who've seen my class when I'm bang, 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 one on one. But that is different. C'est peut-être choquant si vous avez vu euh, mes cours, mais ça c'est différent. Good. All right, then that, that's a few sentences that will do you. Ça vous fera. See you soon, guys. Loads of love. Big kiss. Mm.